The birth of a vision Imran Khan and the PTI. Imran Khan, a name synonymous with cricket leadership and philanthropy, embarked on a new journey in 1996. This journey was not just a shift in career, but a transformation of his life's mission. This was not a journey on the cricket field where he had achieved unparalleled glory, leading Pakistan to its first and only World Cup victory in 1992. This was a journey into the heart of Pakistani politics, a journey fueled by a vision for a just and equitable Pakistan. A vision that sought to address the deep-rooted issues of corruption, inequality and lack of accountability. He established the Pakistan tehreek e insaf or PTI, a party that promised a new era for the nation. The PTI was not just another political party. It was a movement aimed at transforming the political landscape of Pakistan. Khan's vision resonated with millions of Pakistanis, particularly the youth. The younger generation, disillusioned by the existing political system, found hope in Khan's promises of change and reform. They saw in him a beacon of hope, a leader who transcended the traditional political elite. His charisma and unwavering commitment to his cause inspired a new wave of political activism among the youth. The PTI, with its message of justice, transparency and accountability, offered a refreshing alternative to the status quo. It was a call to action for all those who believed in a better future for Pakistan. The early years were challenging. The PTI faced numerous obstacles, from limited financial resources to a lack of political experience. Building a political party from scratch is no easy feat, especially in a country like Pakistan, where political power has long been concentrated in the hands of a few elite families. Established political dynasties held sway and the PTI, with its limited resources and lack of experience, faced an uphill battle. But Khan was undeterred. He knew that real change would not come easy and that perseverance was key. He had faced numerous challenges on the cricket field and emerged victorious. His cricketing career had taught him the value of resilience, determination and hard work. He believed in his vision and, more importantly, in the people of Pakistan. He knew that with their support, anything was possible. The journey was long and arduous, but Khan's unwavering faith in his mission kept him going. Over the years, the PTI's message began to resonate more and more with the masses. The rallies grew larger, the support more fervent. People from all walks of life started to believe in the possibility of a new Pakistan. The PTI's rise was not just a political phenomenon, it was a social movement, it was a testament to the power of a shared vision and the collective will of the people. Imran Khan's journey from a cricket legend to a political leader is a story of hope, resilience and unwavering commitment to a better future for Pakistan. Early Trials and Tribulations a steadfast spirit. Imran Khan's journey into politics was marked by numerous challenges and obstacles that tested his resolve and determination. The 1997 and 2002 elections were a stark reminder of the challenges that lay ahead for Imran Khan and the PTI. These elections highlighted the deeply entrenched political dynamics and the formidable opposition they faced. The party faced an uphill battle against well-established political machines. The entrenched political parties had vast resources and networks that made it difficult for a new party like PTI to gain a foothold. Resources were limited and the political landscape was far from level. The PTI had to operate with minimal funding and support, often relying on the sheer will and dedication of its members. Despite these hurdles, Khan remained steadfast. His unwavering belief in his vision for a better Pakistan kept him going, even when the odds seemed insurmountable. His message resonated with the people, but translating that support into electoral success proved difficult. The enthusiasm and hope he inspired in the masses did not always translate into votes. The PTI secured only a few seats in those early elections. The results were disheartening, but they also served as a learning experience for the party. Disappointment was palpable, but it did not deter Khan or his supporters. Instead, it fueled their determination to work harder and reach more people these early setbacks only strengthened Khan's resolve. He knew that true change required perseverance and a long-term commitment. He understood that change takes time, especially in a country grappling with deep-rooted problems. The socio-political landscape of Pakistan was complex and Khan was prepared for a long journey. The PTI, under his leadership, continued to build its base, connecting with the people and advocating for their rights. 
They focused on grassroots movements, ensuring that their message reached every corner of the country. Khan's commitment to social justice was also evident in his philanthropic work. His efforts went beyond politics, aiming to uplift the underprivileged and provide them with better opportunities. The Shaukat Khanum Memorial Cancer Hospital, established in his mother's memory, stood as a testament to his dedication to serving the underprivileged. This hospital became a beacon of hope for many, offering free treatment to those who could not afford it. This commitment to social welfare further endeared him to the masses. His genuine concern for the well-being of the people earned him respect and admiration, solidifying his place in the hearts of many Pakistanis. False accusations and legal battles unwavering in the face of adversity. Throughout his political journey, Imran Khan faced a barrage of false accusations and legal challenges. These were not just minor allegations, but serious charges that could have ended his political career. His opponents, threatened by his growing popularity, resorted to character assassination and fabricated charges. They saw him as a formidable threat to the status quo and were determined to bring him down by any means necessary. These attacks were relentless, aimed at discrediting him and derailing his political aspirations. The media was often used as a tool to amplify these accusations, creating a cloud of doubt around his integrity. Khan, however, refused to be silenced. He continued to speak out, addressing his supporters with confidence and clarity, never wavering in his commitment to his vision for Pakistan. He fought back with unwavering determination. His integrity, his shield against these baseless allegations. His resolve was unshakable and he stood firm in the face of adversity. He presented his case in courts of law, proving his innocence time and again. Each victory in court was not just a personal triumph, but a blow to those who sought to undermine him. These legal battles took a toll, but Khan remained undeterred. The stress and struggle were evident, but he never let them hinder his mission. He knew that his fight was not just personal, it was a fight for the soul of Pakistan. His vision for a better, corruption-free nation kept him going, even when the odds were stacked against him. He saw these attacks as a testament to his growing influence and a validation of the threat he posed to the corrupt political order. The more they tried to bring him down, the more he realized the importance of his mission. Khan's resilience in the face of adversity only strengthened his image as a man of principles, a leader who refused to be cowed by threats or intimidation. His unwavering stance inspired many and garnered even more support. The people recognized his sincerity and saw him as a victim of political vendetta, further solidifying their support for him. His journey, marked by trials and triumphs, became a symbol of hope and resilience for many in Pakistan. Section 4, a rally, an attack, an unwavering resolve, the 2013 Lahore incident. The 2013 election campaign was a watershed moment in Pakistani politics. Imran Khan, with his message of change and his unwavering commitment to justice, had galvanized the nation. His rallies drew massive crowds, a testament to his growing popularity. However, tragedy struck during a rally in Lahore. As Khan perched atop a container truck, addressed a sea of supporters. Gunfire erupted. He was seriously injured, falling from the container and sustaining multiple fractures. Panic ensued and the rally descended into chaos. The nation held its breath. Khan, the man who had captured the imagination of millions, lay wounded. The attack sent shockwaves through Pakistan and beyond. Many feared that this was the end of his political journey. But Khan, true to his fighting spirit, defied the odds. He recovered from his injuries, his resolve strengthened by the outpouring of love and support from the people. The attack, rather than silencing him, had amplified his voice, making his message even more resonant. Section 5. The election of 2013. A turning point in Pakistani politics. The 2013 general elections were a turning point in Pakistani politics. Imran Khan, still recovering from the attack, led the PTI to an unprecedented victory, securing the third largest number of seats in the National Assembly. While the PTI did not win enough seats to form the government, their performance sent a clear message. The political landscape of Pakistan was changing. Khan had successfully challenged the two-party system that had dominated Pakistani politics for decades. The 2013 elections, despite not resulting in a PTI victory, 
were a testament to the power of the people. Khan had tapped into a deep-seated desire for change, for a break from the corrupt and dynastic politics that had plagued Pakistan for too long. His message of hope, of Anaya, Pakistan, New Pakistan, resonated with millions, particularly the youth, who saw in him a leader who could deliver them from the quagmire of corruption and despair. Section 6. The Panama Papers and the Fall of a Dynasty, a Triumph for Justice. In 2016, the Panama Papers leak sent shockwaves across the globe, exposing a web of offshore accounts and shell companies used by the world's elite to hide their wealth. Among those named were members of then Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's family. Imran Khan, a staunch advocate for accountability and transparency, seized upon this revelation. He demanded an independent investigation into the Sharif family's financial dealings, launching a relentless campaign for justice. Khan's unwavering pursuit of justice resonated with the people, who had long suspected the ruling elite of corruption. Street protests erupted, demanding Sharif's resignation. The pressure mounted, forcing the Supreme Court to take notice. In a landmark decision in 2017, the Supreme Court disqualified Nawaz Sharif from holding public office. This was a historic moment for Pakistan, marking a significant victory against corruption and dynastic politics.